Hello and welcome to another walkthrough by Commander Rogden from Rogden Gaming. After you've completed Priority the Citadel, you'll have the opportunity to complete many quests here. To start, I'm going to go over an item that I missed in my previous Act 1 walkthrough. Fortunately, this provides the opportunity to show you how to use the Spectre Terminal. Once you've accessed the menu, look for the item that you missed, and bring the item to the character the quest belongs to. These are control schematics for Cerberus turrets. The first quest we are going to look at completing requires that you overhear a conversation from the following two characters. Then participate in the conversation wheel with this character here. Your decision in that tree does not have any immediate impact. I will update this if I later find otherwise. The next quest we'll look at completing also starts in the holding docks and requires that you run around this area taking pictures of various people. I have your footage. Thank you, Commander. I'll start editing it right away. The third quest starts at this camp doctor it, and requires you to activate the three medigel dispensers around the refugee camp. I fixed the sabotage. Thank you. I wish we could have. The fourth mission requires that you speak with these two citizens near the end of the Presidium and participate in a conversation wheel with Captain Aaron Summers. This particular set of choices confuses me as it does not matter whether you have the Paragon or renegade points to pull rank, you receive the same reward regardless. The next quest is conveniently just around the corner and requires that you access the Spectre Terminal and authorize the Vitarian access codes. You'll then need to find the three hacked consoles. Before you access this terminal, you may wish to save your game, as if you do not have the Paragon or Renegade points needed to persuade this person, you will not only lose a small portion of your current war assets, but you will fail to gain a fairly large Batarian war asset. The next three quests start on the Normandy. The first of these requires that you access your private terminal and read the following message and access data at the Spectre terminal. Speak with the Embassy Guard and play the following three entries. After you finish playing the recordings, locate the bug on the desk behind you. The following conversational wheel will provide several choices. You will have two additional choices if you manage to complete Zaid's loyalty mission in Mass Effect 2. Choosing either one of these options with the appropriate Renegade or Paragon total will allow you to gain both of these war assets. If you choose the Paragon choice, you will prevent the losses of the Turian 6th Fleet. If you instead choose the Renegade choice, the Turian 6th Fleet will suffer minor losses and you will gain a major war asset. 
Additionally, if Zaid is still around, you can visit him in the docks holding area and gain a new war asset. The second of these quests starts with the doctor that you hired and find Tactus in the docks holding bay. If you tell him to reconsider, you will exit the conversation tree, but you can enter it again by speaking with him a second time. You can choose either a renegade or a paragon choice to force the trade, or if you are not interested in the medigel upgrade, you can provide him with the medical supplies as a gift and some additional paragon points. When you've made your decision, return to the doctor for some additional reputation and your medigel upgrade. If you have Dr. Chocolates, she will update your medigel efficiency, allowing it to heal more per use. If you have Dr. Mitchell, she will update your medigel capacity. And finally, return to the prototype terminal for a health upgrade. It should be noted that you will receive this reward even if you provided the medical supplies to the refugees for free. The last quest available starts with Engineer Adams. To speed the process of purchasing this item, you can use the procurement interface. Returning to Adams will not provide you with a reward immediately. Instead, you will receive reputation and a minor war asset after completing a couple missions. If you are having issues starting this quest, return to the Spectre Terminal and authorize military pardons for the Normandy engineers. This completes our walkthrough on the Act 2 Citadel side quest. This is Commander Rogdon. Thanks for watching.